The key thing with ProsperOps is that when you plug it in through a partner like Stratus Grid, it can deliver immediate savings so that they can move even faster. It's not hypothetical, it's real savings that they can take and move faster with their customers. Hi, my name is Joe Henderson, Head of Partnerships at ProsperOps, an AWS ISV Accelerate Partner. Good afternoon, my name is Dan Foster. I'm the Director of Strategic Alliances for Stratus Grid. So Stratus Grid is a solutions implementer partner with AWS. We are actually an advanced tier partner. I've uh, been a uh, partner with them since 2013 from the very beginning. The founder saw the writing on the wall and knew that this was going to be a disruptive technology and adopted that quite early. I uh, personally came on board in uh, early 2020 and uh, the CEO kind of brought me on board and asked me to take over this partnership, you know, and I was at the time, I'm just like, I couldn't even spell AWS, but I uh, decided to kind of take a look at it and see what I could do. And we were quite unhealthy partnership at the time. So I just had to kind of dive into it and immerse myself and try to start uh, meeting all the other partners in there. How about you? What about ProsperOps? So ProsperOps is an AWS rate optimization tool that delivers automated FinOps outcomes for customers. So it's a software tool that gets installed in a customer's AWS account, looks for savings in AWS Compute specifically, and then delivers savings back to them. That's a big topic right now, right? It is. It's a very busy space right now. So I actually got started when I met uh, Jesus, who is a, an employee of ProsperOps. We met at one of the AWS summits in Chicago and just hit it off as a good person. I just really enjoyed being around him. Um, and he was just a, a phenomenal person. So just the more I talked to him, just like, I want to do work with that type of person. I want that type of quality to be that partnership. And from that partner ecosystem, it's so difficult. And at times it can be quite nerve wracking trying to find a good fit for our company. You know, we're relatively small. And so we have to be discerning who we decide to participate with. And so you're looking for these good companies and to trust, you know, because we're putting our livelihood in their hands. They're going to be putting the livelihood into ours. And now together we have to convince a community to give us their business to go and do things for them. You know, that's tough. That's, that's, a, that's a hard cycle to kind of work through. Absolutely. Prosper Ops has made that seamless. It's made it just absolutely, you know, a, a dream come true. Absolutely. To kind of go back a little bit, so so when I started at ProsperOps at, at the beginning of the year, we had some some partnerships um, kind of all over the place, all different partner types within the AWS ecosystem. And like you said, just meeting Jesus and having that trust in, in a good person is, I think, where the best partnerships start. It starts with people, it starts with trust. And then if you can discover that you have technologies or services that can blend together and serve this community of customers, it can work really well. So when we are looking for an ideal customer profile, what we do is a very specific thing. You know, we save people money on their cloud. So when we're looking for partners, we're looking for customers that, or partners that have done their migration, uh, are doing services for them, and are complete trusted advisors to their customers. So we can come in and, and give them a tool that they can layer onto their services to help their customers save some money, create some budget so they can move faster and deliver more outcomes for their customer. That's a fantastic point. I mean, one of the things that we noticed from our side being that solutions implementer partner is we're the ones conducting these migrations. And the migrations, when you go into some of these funding streams, they will get a lot of credits toward the end of it, but they're almost universally lost because of that inefficiency of, of the move. It's just the nature of the beast. There's nothing you can do about it. As that happens, it's just that waste is going to happen. And when we were talking earlier this year, it just made it just clicked instantly when bringing in ProsperOps into that ecosystem again, starting it at the very beginning, it actually ultra values those credits at the end of this. I mean, it was a genius idea and I just love everything about it. So I have a bit of a background in FinOps working for some of the FinOps 1.0 tools and then actually went to go work for an ABS consulting partner myself. And so this is many years ago. So the tools that existed many years ago were delivering hypothetical savings, meaning they would plug in and then there would have to be on the responsibility of the partner or the customer to actually take actions on what they were recommending. And so it put a lot of burden on the customers and the partners when they were delivering other services for them. The key thing with ProsperOps is that when you plug it in 
through a partner like Stratus Grid, it can deliver immediate savings so that they can move even faster. It's not hypothetical, it's real savings that they can take and move faster with their customers. Yeah, and it's quite visible. That's the thing that is like very, very quickly, you can just demonstrate that to the, the end customer. Uh, and like I was saying as part of the introduction, one of the things is always when we're coming to these customers and trying to get them to talk with us and work with us, you know, we're asking them basically to give their entire livelihood into our hands. So if we don't have that good synergy between the companies, that's obvious. I mean, it's seen immediately, you know, it's just like, there's no question whatsoever. So that, again, one of the things I really love is how smoothly we've come together as teams. And you're right. I mean, these are very companion uh, organizations and tools. I mean, the tooling yep. just works very well and there's no conflict you know, so it's it's pretty it's pretty fantastic. The value of working with Prosper Ops is very much having a trusted team. Uh, my background lends from the military, and so it's real. It's my natural inclination to be able to have that that someone to my side that I could just automatically kind of look to without any hesitation. That's what I feel. You know, so I don't have a question about whether or not. When I handed in that direction, I don't have to follow up with that. The team that I've been working with at Prosper Ops are just the epitome of professionals, and I just know intrinsically that it's going to be taken care of whenever it hands over. And I hope that we're kind of demonstrating the same thing from our side. Absolutely. Um, Prosper Ops feels the same way working with Stratus Grid. Um, we always joke where, you know, the fastest you can get into a Slack channel with a partner, the fastest you can get memes flying around. Um, you realize that you have someone that you can be friends with and you can actually help customers jointly. So, um, so I think it was probably, you know, the first one or two calls, we kind of knew that this was going to work out from a, from a person to person standpoint. And then when we saw the capabilities that your team had, as far as the services that you were delivering and the very specific type of customers that you're serving, it was a perfect fit. I appreciate that, Joe. That means a lot. That's something that we've been driving for for quite some time. I mean, we really want that strong culture internally. We want that culture to shine through. And when we hear feedback like that, it really makes it feel you know, validated that we've actually been successful though. There's no such thing as success when you're trying to do something like culture. It's like, hey, give me better communications. There's, that's not easy to quantify. So when you're really trying to invest in that culture and you're investing in your engineers and you get feedback from, from someone that you trust so much, it really means a lot. So I appreciate that. Yep, absolutely. I think just in general, just, the way selling is going as far as just in, in our business and, and others, especially with the macroeconomic climate, there is the old school way of doing enterprise sales where people are cold calling, they're taking people out to dinners and they're trying to sell directly to these customers and convince them that this product is right for them. Where I think the things, things are shifting a bit right now where partners are now becoming or the partner motion is now becoming the key point right now. No one wants to answer the phone. No one wants to respond to emails. You have a trusted advisor, a partner who has these built in relationships and they can sort of validate, validate the opportunity and put your, um, your trust into their customers. It can go a lot quicker. And I think that's perfect. That's a perfect answer. That's the way I personally feel when I'm looking for uh, a trusted advisor to do something in my life that I don't know how to do. I look for a person that I like and a person I can trust. And then I just take their advice. If they're bringing me something, I'm pretty much just going to say yes, because yep. they're the ones that I trust to do this because we've gone through that part of it. And I think that's, that's where we're seeing the shift in industry. And you hear so much about the soft skills and the being able to communicate and building that trust early. It's very difficult to do. And I think that to what you're saying, that that's what we're seeing in the industry because we've got really smart people out there. And what I've said all along is like, I don't need these customers to be IT experts. I've got the IT experts. Yep. I need them to do what they do. And I need to be the one to help empower that for them. And they just need to be able to hopefully trust us as that partnership. And then we present that and have them, you know, take it and when we all help them go. Yeah, absolutely. And I think when we're operating in this ADBS ecosystem, like one of the key sort of not unfair advantages, but just a huge advantage, at least for the customers, is that we both operate within the ABS marketplace. So when we actually have our product that we are going to deliver through a company like Stratus Grid, it can go seamlessly through the ABS marketplace and the customer can buy it quickly, set it up quickly, and just get moving as, as, as fast as Stratus Grid is already going. 
it's it's amazing to me the the innovation and the features that AWS actually brings out. It's just like I've been doing IT and IT related everything for about thirty years now. I started in ninety three, so I've seen a lot of up and down. Uh, and to work with this organization is just phenomenal. It's like I know I know the the other big ones. Yep. You know, we now have AWS who truly and legitimately is customer focused, customer obsessed, and you can see it. I mean, just without any knowledge whatsoever, you can see the features that they are putting out there and the conversations I have internally inside of AWS is always about that. Customer focus, customer obsession. Yep. So it's not it's not FaceTime that they're giving you. I mean, they're giving yeah. you the real answers, you know, and they that's the same conversations that we have as well. So it's it's really that it, it comes through. You know, the features and everything is, is pretty phenomenal. Yeah. One of the cool things was uh, very early in the partnership, you all had a customer that was spending a lot in AWS and needed some help. And you had a bunch of other services that you were delivering and were going to deliver. It was very quickly that we were able to get in front of that customer, show them what the potential was with this and quickly get that across the line through the AWS marketplace. So that customer can transform a lot quicker than they may if they were, were trying to buy something outside of that. Yeah, and that has long-term benefits for them, for sure. Absolutely. And one of the benefits that we find with the way AWS actually works with the customer is they actually show that back toward the partners themselves. The partners, I think it's, it's that leadership principle of you know coming down from the top. And what they're showing is because they are so outward facing, they're not trying to absorb, they're trying to give. And I think that the partners inside of that are doing the same thing. And that's what I felt from the very beginning from ProsperOps. Y'all didn't come at us saying, hey, give me things. You came at us like, hey, we want to be part of this and let me invest, let us invest. Let's ProsperOps invest into StratusGrid. And that then encourages us to do the same. And that's, again, that helps build that trust very quickly. So instead of us kind of holding our cards in close and kind of very tentatively working into it, it's a giving relationship. And so if we're giving in the same direction and we're both invested in trying the other, for the other companies to be successful, it will be. Because, I mean, I'm invested in you guys being successful. I want Jesus to be successful. I want Joe to be successful. I want Ani to be successful. Yep. And so because of that, that's where that comes into play. And it just shortens it down to almost no time whatsoever to get that trust. Couldn't agree with you more, Dan. Doing partnerships for about 12 years. And the last thing you want to do is go hat in hand and say, where are your deals? Where are your customers? And I think we both approached each other um, just trying to help each other. How can we jointly help customers together? How do we fit together? So the quickness in how we form the partnership served a customer and have many more that we're about to serve was just absolutely remarkable. And that's why we consider Stratus Grid a strategic partner and we're investing in there. Um, it's why I'm here in Chattanooga today. So um, we look forward to, uh, to scaling this partnership and uh, see where this can go. Wonderful. So, so thanks for having me. Man, I appreciate it. Yep. Have a good one, brother. Thanks.